And then right when I realized what it was, I just immediately called 911. Fear of what could have been. Today, we speak with a mother who lives in Canal Winchester who keeps asking herself, what if after someone fired a shot through her home? Thank you for joining us tonight at 530. I'm Yolanda Harris and I'm Andrew Kinsey. Columbus police tell us sadly this is not an isolated problem. 10 TV's Stephanie Stanovich talk with that mother about how she wants to raise awareness. A constant reminder of a terrifying moment. It's honestly, the terrifying part is the fact that it could happen again. This sound replaying in her head over and over again. It's horrible, especially when I'm putting my daughter down to bed in the room that has holes in it right now. This mother, who did not want to show her face or use her name for safety reasons, says a bullet shot into her home around 1 a.m. Sunday. I was asleep at the time and I heard uh, it sounded like somebody something fell in my room. Her husband rushed upstairs when turning on the light. I saw above my bed this hole in the wall and then instantly he knew he's like that's that's a bullet hole. They immediately checked on their daughters starting in their oldest daughter's room. She was not home at the time. It went all the way through to her um, other farthest wall. However, their youngest daughter was sleeping in the room adjacent to where the bullet went. No one was hurt, but the family is, of course, shaken up. When that call came in, we had officers respond in patrol, and obviously it's very unsettling. Columbus Police Sergeant James Fuqua tells us this is an ongoing investigation. A lot of factors still need to be determined. Unfortunately, these things do, do tend to happen. Combating any type of violence throughout the city is a main target for CPD. I'm a parent myself, so I totally understand any parent who feels that they need to protect their child, their home or anyone else inside of that house at all costs. As for the guns. If you know someone who is in possession of a firearm or any type of gun that should not have it, please report them. Just think twice before people are doing these crazy things. Reporting in Columbus, Stephanie Stanovich, 10 TV News. Now at this time last year, Columbus police say they had 67 felonious assaults. This year it's 111 CPD asking that whatever situation you are in to make sure you're making safe, responsible decisions, knowing that there are consequences.